would not mind taking this one to 40 plus minutes if they can stop C9 from snowballing through Syndra. So he is Same. undetected. Level three versus level one. Goes. There's not even a lantern yet. Flash, there's the knock of it, and there's the flash W as well. Not gonna land the second knock of a Cody is gonna go down anyway. The first image is there. Can they get the further back? And they've gotta take down Ole. A couple more shots will do him in the heel for the auto oh. deck. And he's not gonna get it. Sneaky went for all of it. Couldn't quite make it happen, but even so, first blood is nice. Kodak's no flash. But if Cinder lands a stun, Poalter's probably dead for this. Not gonna land the one here, but the knockup's gonna be there. And here's the ulti, Poalter's oh. gone. He couldn't get a rage for the exhaust. And the flash didn't come out in time. What a great kill in the mid lane. And meanwhile, pressure on the bot side, looking for round two of Cloud9. Shen is arriving to the bot lane instead. Suddenly, it's a 4v1, a flash. To buy a few seconds of taunt is in, though, and there's no way out. Sneaky gets the kill. And that's key, because they want to rush down this turret before Renekton but they don't quite get it. So first turret gold still goes over to Immortals. Good timing on the Shen ultimate regardless. That goes down, and look at the timing as well. He's gonna match the recalls, and then Goku will go back to base. The turret is gonna fall. Flame gonna knock that one down by himself and knock down even more minions. Flame getting more out of this one, and now they gotta find Ray. It's on. Though. They gotta get away. Nice ult comes across. Foot for Walter a bit low. They land the stun as well. This could be what they need. Ray is in for the auto attacks and gets the kill over to Jensen, showing up just in time, and takes the farm from Ray to make this happen a little bit more likely. We'll see what plays out. Ray gonna keep battling Flame for some farm. It looks like this Flame Horizon will be far away at this point. Expecting coming back down to Ray. They just keep fighting him. We're supposed to cast this time. He's just gonna buy a few more seconds, but whoop. See ya. Like a sneaky ninja jumps over a wall and disappears. And now look at this one. The charm, the double knock of Storm is in. They're gonna shut down Cody. Said he's deleted off the face. The map explodes for nothing and more knocks coming through. They find Ole for a bit more. Pops the box. Try to run away. Contract's in there. They're taking some damage from Poe Butler. gets right back out. And here comes the TP in for Flame. The big crocodile is here. How angry is the Gator? Yeah, not entirely sure what Xmedi hoped to accomplish with that gank onto Ray. See, not trying to get control via mid lane priority. Ray has some of her teleport. Flame does not. So he's going to start this in front of Ray here. Contract from the front line. Blue Trick get used to spot this. Smithy waiting in the wings. He's going to find the double knockup. Hits. They the found package. a bit more. Here's the back to the cross. We find a ton of damage. They're going to get a bit of damage. And there's the explosive cast. And they have found Smoothie. Now, Contract Force will kind of wave and pop the for a bit of time. But he's going to be shut down for this shortly. And three kills picked up in the front line. They're going to find Ray as well. Four in a row for Immortals. They've got absolute control now. The fall is really no chance to stop it. So Immortals going to go up 2,000 gold. Wheel the bear buff and recall in 22 minutes. Very hard for Cobelter to poke out with turrets as, or with missiles as long as Jensen keeps away from him. They're going Here's for the They're going to look for Cody. Send the deletion is in. He's going to flash away. They get him though. Jinta picks up one and kites back with Smoothie. Now a little bit of a slow into it. Smithy cutting back and forth. Contract going to ult to buy a bit more time. Gets to the back line right in front of one. They're going to find another knockback. And that's another kill traded. Two for one so far. Favorite Cloud9 Ray though. Going to lose his life. The shield is on. Still falls down. 3v3 on the map as Smithy comes right back in. They find Sneak in this one. A big two man start though. Another two man knock up out of Smoothie. Do oh. they have the damage they can't but kill the tanks, they're too beefy. A triple kill for Popo, but there's too many stats on Flame. They can't kill him off. And young POV chasing down on a smoothie reveals him. Blast Cone not quite over the oh. wall. He's pretty All quick, right. though. On that Blast Cone, he should be able to get away. Popo out there just getting a rocket back up. Shield and Ocean Drake's kicking in for Smoothie. And jumps the wall, though, and there's no mana, so he's going to get away with this one. But still, mid lane outer going to fall. Immortals do win that fight. The ability you have when you are playing forward with movement speed. Look for the root, the one who's 50 force him to flash away. Here comes the re-engage. Cody Sun is here. Night nice Bow is on. They're gonna find a stun zone. They're gonna look for Ray. They're gonna find that one. Cody Sun getting the kill credit. And in comes Flame. Look at that oh damage output. God. Almost single-handedly deletes the player and Sneaky just barely running away. Doesn't get shot by the living artillery in the end, but still running with low movement speed. Flame wants it. Can he jump the wall? He's gonna <laughs> whip it! But X50 is there to make sure it comes in all the same. And it will be him if they do need to convert at some point. And there could be Flash Hook is gonna land. Will they go for more kills? The play's gonna be in there as well. Here comes the shuttle by a few more seconds. The only coming across looking for Cody's son. And the shot that is there for a contract. And they've kept Jensen alive. He's kited back. And another kill comes through as they've knocked down Ole. Two for zero so far. It will be a trade most likely on a contract. One bar shuttle do him in. No, he's kiting away. The tunnels are back up. And explosive cast gets absolutely nothing. He's the flashbacks to CLG as now Ray is gonna fall off. So at least one kill comes in, but two for one the trade. Advantage cloud nine in that fight. They are in constant fear of a Gragas initiation. Ray trying to get that bottom. The back line is there. He's gonna catch him. Knock him right into the team. That was absolutely beautiful. Sneaky Freddo storms in. Tries to get away. They're gonna find a bit of a trade as Cody's son is gonna fall a trade of Marksman. 
Now it's time for the 4v4 afterwards. Flame cutting back and forth away from Jensen. Meanwhile, the top side of the fight is just slow and surely a burn out of contracts. Now there's not enough Flame, but look how tanky this Renekton is. Stays alive even longer. Flame has teleport. He could come back in if they start this Baron. And you're going to play. Gonna do. All right, they're going to try for it, though. It is a guaranteed 5v3, though, on this one. Cloud9 going to do the best they can to stop. Ray spots it. Is there even a chance to seal, though? The only damage dealer is Jensen. Yeah, he doesn't, no... he doesn't have the damage. He killed Flame Orcs. Or even Ole, potentially, here. The health bars are way too high. Baron's going to go down. Early spike, but they're going to be fine. They grab it. There's actually no threat, but here comes the attempt. Ray has ulti. They want in on Cody's son. They're going to find the knock, and they stop the lane. There's no way out. He got fouled in the mid lane. And now Cloud9 need to use his 5v4 for as much as they can. They're coming back from an 8,000 gold deficit. One kill in the mix for 45 seconds. They want to 5v4 hard here. They still have Flash on Smooth. They still have Flash on Jensen. And they still have Flash on Ray. Flames behind him. It's going to be a brawl if Flame takes this fight. They're going to go for the mid lane. They found Conjures for a bit. Knock up on Oaks Smithy. Here comes Flame in the back line. Sneaky cutting away. Jensen doing the same. And in comes Polter with the exhaust on. He wants this Syndra. And they're going to find it. A shutdown for one in the 4v5. And Contract forced out as well. Sneaky already very low. Ray Taunt tries to get away. Presence coming in, but Sneaky doesn't do all that much damage. Looking for the triple root, looking for a little bit more. Both are on the wings as well. In comes Flame. He's already shut down Rakan. Looking for the Oath Sworn as well. He's going to find a bit more in the back line as the rest of Cloud9 are just falling apart right now as Ray uh, chased out. He's gone. Sneaky only the one left alive. And without Cody's son, Immortals still win the fight 4 to 0. Oh, Belter with the package in that fight. Absolutely destroys Jensen, and we know that Sneaky has not been able to deal with Flame, so once Jensen is off the table, C9 is completely out of threats. Immortals destroy Cloud9 while they're trying to come back in the game. And that was Jensen's first death of the game. He's playing as well as he could. He kept getting these deletions. 10 out of 13 kills with the pain. Might be the series. Killing off the Kog'Maw, and it might just be the series. It's Immortals coming back and swinging in well. Looking at pressure in the mid lane, looking to knock down Sneaky in the end of it all, and he will get killed off. It's now only Smoothie left alive. Jensen respawning, but it's not going to be enough. Immortals looking to close out game three. Looking for the big play. A big stun comes across. They found one. They found two. Now can they make the rest of the Garden Angel going to bring back Flame, though. The attack's coming across. The Lord still wants more. Being CC'd up. Flashing back to the auto picks. Cody said it as well. And it's going to be the next. It's Immortals taking down Cloud9 and ending the week in first place. What a series this was.